Okay, hi guys, and we're back. And this is chapter two. Part one, I guess. I don't know what to call this, whether to call this chapter one, part two, uh, sorry, chapter two, part one, or part 27. I think part one of chapter two sounds better. It sounds like a new beginning. This 27 just sounds like, eh, you know, yet more. And it is very much a new beginning. Steve the Warlock, Arch-Chancellor. Um, and as you can see, he's not in the Arch-Chancellor's bedroom, which is where we left him. Why not? Well, actually all that happened was he went to sleep, then he got up, got in the carriage, and came to Whiterun. And it was already night time, so he went to sleep. I have horrible stutters for some reason. And I shouldn't be having horrible stutters. I've just bought a whole new solid-state hard drive just to record videos to. Completely. Mind you, I've just booted my machine, so there's probably something booting up in the background. Anyway, that's completely and utterly irrelevant. Yes, so I came to Whiterun to do a bit of shopping, as you can see, a bit of crafting, um, and upgrade all my followers. Basically take a little bit of a vacation, as it were, two days. Um, he's done a little bit of shopping. He's, made, he's done a bit of, quite a lot of selling. Upgraded everyone's equipment. I spend a lot blah, blah, blah. Um, so, so here we go. As you can see, a cloak. I think he looks pretty cool with a cloak on. I had no choice. It had to be white because that was the only furs I had. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. What else has changed then? Um, apart from people getting really up in my face. Out of my way. Um, I've got a new texture for the steel armor by Born Again. High definition. So that's pretty cool. Um... I've added a few mods. One of them is a mod that makes the followers stay close to me, even in combat. It's called Hug Me. It's actually part of another mod that I've got. But to be honest with you, it seems like my followers get in my face a little bit. But anyway, we'll have to see how that works. Hopefully it will stop them running off in combat. Um, I've installed convenient horses, because I'm thinking, now that horse combat's here, I want to get all those horses. And it's, uh, let's get away from these annoying kids chatting to us. Um, nice quiet spot. So yeah, so I want to start using the horses, and convenient horses has got things like whistles and loads of other features we're going to explore. I have, I've installed Assis, which is a mod that makes the game harder. But not by just making everything hit harder and have more health. It makes the, the AI cleverer. It gives potions to humanoids. And it spawns more enemies. Which is going to be kind of cool. I've also added war zones back in now. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with going to battle with a small army. And as you can see, I've got all my followers with me. Uh, because I want to I wanna check these mods out. Things like Convenient Horses and uh, Hug Me when under, you know, pretty extreme conditions. And what else have I installed? Oh, I've reinstalled Scenic Carriages because the Better Carriages mod seems to have issues with uh, the 1.6 patch. At least it did for me. So I've installed Scenic Carriages and my followers, three of them, actually got in the carriage with me. <laughs> Four of them had to run behind. But, you know, hey, I can live with it. And I think that's it. You can see the mod list below. If, if I remember something that I've... Oh, no, there is something else. Do you remember the mask? The Mordecai's mask. As you can see now, it is now uh, open-faced. So I put it on. There you go. It, it is a little unfortunate. It clips with my beard. Uh, but apparently each one is now slightly different and has a slightly different look. So it's, it might actually be wearable for me. Plus, you can actually wear it with helms. But as you can see, there are some clipping issues. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I want to see some of the other masks, see how they look. I, it also makes all of the masks heavy armor, which I think is kind of nice. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah. I found out that the wooden mask back in um, Labyrinthia, Labyrinthian, uh, that is a... Um, Whatever it was. I can't remember what it was. Yes, there. The wooden mask is actually part of a greater quest, so I have to go back there and get it. Which is slightly annoying. So, what have I done to my horde? Um, this is Goldir, the one who was wearing the light up. See, this hug me could actually get annoying. My followers are getting right in my face. I might have to uninstall that. That's a bit disturbing. Get out of my face. As you can see, I've given him some dwarven armor. Um... I gave 
Kajago. This is my other kitty. I gave him a full face helmet, an ebony shield, and a dwarven mace. I gave Jazago, as you can see, the Thalmor robes. Um, so he looks pretty cool. What did I give you? Nothing much, actually. I don't think I gave you anything. I gave some of them potions. I had nothing for Onmund. Uh, Benor, I just upgraded all of his stuff, so it's all superior now. Uh, my Dark Elf, come back. Relina, who's running away from me. The only one who doesn't want to get in my face. Um, I took off the rubbish robe she had, only to find out that she looks quite old, actually. Um, but with the Thalmor robes on, I think she looks pretty mean. I think she looks actually very mean. So I gave her a circlet, a destruction circlet, and uh, I've given a lot of them bows. The only one who doesn't have a bow is my gargantuan two-handed warrior here. And I'm going to get him one. Uh, so that they, because I want them to stay near me, then they can use bows and shoot. And was there anyone else? Who have I missed? Have you I know missed anyone? With Skyrim these days? No. So that's it. So my horde are looking a bit better. I'm looking a bit better. We're all looking a little bit better. Fruits and vegetables. It's fun most so, oh yeah, and there's another reason I came to Whiterun, actually. I'm just going to quick save here while I'm talking, because I'm not convinced my system's hugely stable under 1.6 yet. not played it much. Um, oh yeah, I also wanted to install a few other mods. I want to install the ACE mod, ACE mod. Uh, that's another overhaul mod that makes the game a little more challenging. But I want to try ASIS first by itself, try that for a few times, and then add more mods. So I'm going to be adding mods as we go. Um, I believe that was it, yes. So, what am I doing in Whiterun? Right, apart from selling, there was a purpose to this. Um, I'm now the Arch-Chancellor, I'm a Warlock, I'm doing pretty cool. And I want to start amassing more power. And I have heard of a dark tower. A dark tower that could, where a clue is to be found in Falkriath. Yes, what I've done is I've installed a player home mod called the Dark Tower. I think it's called the Dark Tower. And it looks really cool. It has a quest line. So, so Steve has read about this in the library and is off to Falkriath because apparently some scholar was doing something and the, there might be a book there. So that's the excuse for going to Falkriath. Um, and I'm also, I've spoken to Arniel, so I have a task. Oh, I need to speak to Enthir. I forgot about that. And I also would like to get Merun's Razor. And there's the Galdor's Legend, the one I started back in Sarthal. So I want to I go off and amass some artifacts of power, um, especially things like Merun's Razor. So that's that's the current plan. And of course, um, Falkriath, the quickest way to get it to it is from Whiterun. I also, I've got enough money to buy some horses now. I actually have some money to buy some horses so I can come straight down here by road. And, um, or by, go by scenic carriages. I haven't quite decided yet. I quite fancy trying the scenic carriages a little bit more. Now, now that I'm feeling tough enough to get off the carriage and kill. But I also would like some horses. Okay, now I keep getting um, crashes. So I have uninstalled a couple of mods. I've uninstalled the hug mod because my followers were hugging me. Um, I've uninstalled Sky Test for now. For now, um, that's the one where that controls the animals. Um, I've left convenient horses in because I want that in. I've uninstalled scenic carriages. Um, I've sort of removed things that have scripts on AI just in case. And I'm actually, I have decided that I'm going to leave all my followers somewhere. Um, I also uninstalled the map markers for my followers. Uh, I d I've just decided that I'm not going to take as many of them with me. So I'm going to leave some of them in here in Dragon's Reach. Oh, Fred. <laughs> Seems like a good place to leave them. I should be able to find them again. I, I, I worry if I leave them outside, they'll go wandering off. So, who shall I keep? Uh, no, you're I'm staying still here. here. You know. Relax for a while. Um, 
If anyone sneak, relax for a while. And uh, Onmund, you're I've annoying. Got your back. <sighs> you're <laughs> and so I don't need two mages. It's way too much firepower. Firepower. Well, let's leave. Right behind she behind does look very like cool now, but she's still too sweet. Thanks to you, the people of Shizago is kind of nasty. I like him. Oh, he tank girl. Who do I keep? Tank girl or huge, big, enormous sword guy? Oh, I never would have suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. It's a pretty tough Tuffy choice, really, isn't, right, it? isn't it? Pretty tough the choice. Of really I dangerous. love the way he hits people, but I like her as a tank. Do you think it's I can handle three? You, I'm gonna try three <laughs> followers. Three followers. There you go. We'll see how that is. I've got a cease installed now, so I've got quite a lot of... Uh, I'm going to have more spawns than previous. Yeah. Two warriors. A tank. A guy with a big sword. And Jizargo. Got to take Jizargo. Jizargo, who has used up two of his nine lives. Uh, wait a minute, three. He's died twice. Yeah, someone t uh, made a suggestion that uh, I only resurrect Jizago enough that so he has nine lives. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of cool. Cat has nine lives. So, yes, right. And because I've uninstalled the map markers, I can't tell where they are. But it was a bit inconsistent because they um, they weren't always showing up. So hopefully, with only three followers, is a little less demanding on the AI. I also found, by the way, that Google Chrome causes the game to crash. How, if I leave Google Chrome in the background, for some reason, it, it has issues with Skyrim. Where's Jizargo? Now, people have told me it doesn't matter how far your followers are away. If you go through a gate, they'll be on the other side with you. I'm not 100% sure that's true. But I'm going to test it. Yeah, it's true. Nice. That's useful to know. Okay. So, s carriage. Oh, I uninstalled scenic carriages, so I'm going to avoid carriages. I, I want to travel everywhere the first time by myself. So. Yeah. So, where am I going? I'm going to Falkreath. Windy, windy roads on nice clear plains. I like nice clear plains. I like seeing what's coming. I just do. I'm going to go and find that black tower. Find my new home. <laughs> There's my horse. I'm going to ride my horse. Can I buy a horse for... That's the other thing with having a few fewer followers. Got the fleet. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Eh. Yeah. That sets them as convenient, I believe. Can I buy a horse? Not today. No, so I can only. Oh, a, a horn. Here's blessing on you. Now, ride strong. I don't think I can actually use this or activate it. Let's have a look. A horn. Yeah. No, uh, I think I have a, a hotkey or something. So. So anyway, just in case I do keep crashing, I'm going to be doing a lot more quick saving. All right, come on, guys. We're heading south and west. Let's go. Yeah, I get better frame rate as well with <laughs> with only three, which is nice. Get pretty good frame rate anyway. Getting about 45 now. I get 70 or 80 when I'm not recording. Hey, it's Irileth. Whoa. Have you been here the last, I don't know, month while I've been off? <laughs> uh, all I can tell you is that has got to have been the slowest moving dragon ever. Cool. 
You know, it'd be nice to get a mod that converted this into a player home. Hello. Get under cover. The dragon, it's still around somewhere. He's been here for a month, apparently, mate. You'd think he'd get bored, wouldn't you? Hey! It's a dragon! Cool. Mirmelnir. I don't think that's the one that uh, saved me. Nope. Still. Hello. How you doing? Whoa! That wasn't very nice, was it? Ooh. He didn't do a huge amount of damage, actually. What, what's... Oh, right. Uh, you know what? Oh, let me change my spells. Fury, Fear, Healing Hands. You know what this is, don't you? I've, um... I'm a hugely high level compared to what I should be at this point. <laughs> you normally get here about level 10. So even though I've got deadly dragons... Even though I've got deadly dragons, and I'm set to master difficulty, I am massively too powerful for this dragon. Although she's nice. Because normally, <laughs> normally this is a tough fight. This is going to be... Oh, I'll tell you what I do need, though. Let's have a skeletal archer. He probably can still do a bit of damage. Oh, the other thing is, of course, that was fire he used on me, wasn't it? That was fire. And I have... Oh, what do I have? 40% fire resistance from that. Do I have anything? Fire resistance, 40% of the boots. I've got 80% fire resistance. <laughs> Yay! I can actually get in there and do some damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm i assuming the normal dragons I meet are going to be a little tougher than that. Oh, of course, now I'm going to be spawning. Now I'm going to be spawning dragons left, right and centre. With deadly dragons, that could get amusing. Yes! First dragon, and what a wimpy one. Hello. Oh, yes. Shouts. Shouts. You know what? It's been such a long time. I'd almost forgot about shouts. Yes. Oh. Sc screenshot time. You know, the only problem with this is if I put this in the, uh, in the, in the screenshot, the, thumb, the thumbnails, you guys will get spoilers. Sweet. Hello. You sure took care of that dragon. Did I? Dragonborn or not? Chat. Dragonborn? What? No one's mentioned anything. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. That was the hairiest fight you've ever been in. That. Business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White One right away. Boom. I want to know what happened. What manner of power is that? Oh, right, wait a minute. Here's the problem. I want to go to Falkreath and get my tower. Yeah, no, going to Falkreath to get my tower. I'll I'll go back to Whiterun and tell him about the uh, dragon some other time. Where's my horse? Anyone seen my horse? Yeah, there you go. Now... I should really learn what the key is to summon my horse, shouldn't I? Because I can, I can get a nice little uh, whistle or horn or something, and off he comes. There you go, guys. We're dragon slayers. We're awesome. Actually, we better get moving. It looks like it's getting dark. Let's skip the castle. No distractions. Oh, I better not. I better not sprint too much. Followers get lost. Come on.
If I'm going to get in fights, actually, you know what? I think I should take a little bit. I've got an armor spell somewhere. Let's have a look. Sixty. That's the apprentice one, isn't it? Uh, iron flesh is. Yeah, I don't think I can cast that. There you go. I think I'm going to put iron flesh on my. Yeah. Can I just put that on my stone flesh? Did I do stone flesh by mistake? I'm such a doofus. Oak flesh, 40 points for 60 seconds. Oh gosh. Iron flesh, 80. St no, it's stone flesh. I am an idiot. S, stone. There we go. We're going to be getting into more fights now, so. Um Bit of armor always helps. Let's get this show on the road. So yeah, that was a teeny bit disappointing, though, wasn't it? As a, as a, as a first dragon fight, that is. Um, I thought it would scale when I finally met that dragon, but I guess it's not um, really going to scale up to level twenty-four. Oh, I got a new mod, by the way. Um, the this screen. As you can see, uh, the pathways are a bit more cool, and the stars are a little brighter, and the background's a lot higher quality. It's kind of cool, actually. I like that. I can't remember what it's called. I'll, uh, I've had it for a while, but I installed a new version with uh, some nicer, cooler features. Oh, the battle. What do we think? Well, it's a war zone, and it's storm cloaks and legionnaires, and I can pretty much ignore them. Nice. Oh, and a little Stonehenge kind of thing. It's kind of cool. Right, where am I going? I think I'm going up there. Am I going up there? Yes! There we go, Falkrieth. Just try not to get caught up in this battle. Hope my minions don't get caught up in the battle. No, in my minions. There we go. Nice one, lads. I definitely need the uh, casting on mounted casting mod. Gonna install that. Yeah, well, anyway, things seem very stable now. So, whatever I've done, whether it's leaving a few followers behind, changing my uni settings, or re removing some of those mods. Everything's been dead stable. Mind you, probably closing Google Chrome. I swear I think that was 90% of the problem. There you go. It's getting dark. Need to find an inn. Okay, where am I going? Straight on. I did a mini-map. I don't know if any of you ever played Oblivion. There was an awesome mod called Minimap. And you could toggle it on and off with a key. And you have a little map that would appear when you pressed a button. Which, it was brilliant. Oh, where are we? Half Moon Hill. Sweet. Yeah, and it was a really nice mod. I don't know how possible it's going to be for this. The uh, latest version of SKSE uh, is a version that you guys have not got yet. Um, it's I don't know when it'll be released. Soon, I hope. But it's got some nice functionality on the user interface. Very nice indeed. Where on earth are they? Come on, followers. I've got a very slight blue sparkle going on here. It's very strange, isn't it? Just my graphics card's overheating. That would be typical. Yeah, so the latest version of SKSE, it's got a lot of functionality for user interfaces. Um, so I've already started exploring it, but that's going to really allow a lot of cool mods. Okay, south. This way. I'm not totally sure if you guys can see these little blue speckles on the video. I'll have to check. 
um, but it only occurs when I'm recording video. So that's interesting. Oh, am I lost again? Nope, heading in the right direction. So yeah, when I stop, it stops too, which is interesting. It's not that noticeable. It seems to only appear when it's dark. Here we go, lads. Valkyrieth. Sweet, we made it. And this is where we're going to start looking for clues to our new home. Um, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Candlelight. You know what I do want, though? I want mage light on hotkey. Because apparently, apparently, I can cast this on my followers and it will stick to them. Like a candlelight. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. So yes, here we are in Falkriath. Ready to start looking for our new home. Awesome. Okay, let's start looking for clues for this new home of ours. Okay, it might help if I actually walk into the inn. As opposed to someone's home. Why did I think that was the inn? Ah, oh, it's a store. Where's the inn? There's the inn! I knew that. I knew that. Citizen, this is an old to Skyrim's okay, okay. Short bones. Now I know Welcome to Dead there's a book somewhere here. Ooh, have you got any Folks rubbish? have gone missing the past few weeks. Word now is that our hunters are gone too. Say, if you're traveling, could you keep an eye out for them? Valder and his men, I think they were after Bear up north. I hate to break it to you, they're probably currently their food. I need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Which one is it? Show you to your room. Right this way. This way. This way. Cool. I'm gonna sleep later when. I'm gonna sleep later when I've finished looking around. Yeah, there is something else you can do. You you can get rid of the freaky guy in the corner. At some point, we should hire Pick Lowenkir. If she could just spend less time yeah, yeah, serving look, Dengu. seriously, you can stay. Oh, I wish I could afford to pay you both, Nari. Okay, I really do. Look, you're all being very weird. Stop talking to each other through a wall and remove weirdo here. Can you leave? This is this place always so gloomy. Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Sweet. RK's influence is strong here, and he likes to keep it this way. Awesome. The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. I'm no scholar, but I know that a lot of battles have been fought here over the course of history. I like this place. After each battle, more dead were buried, and the graveyard got bigger. <laughs> I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. Excellent. We'll have to see what we can do to fill it up some more. Our daughter. Our little girl. Okay. She hadn't seen her tent winter. That's a little depressing. She was. He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Well, stop dancing then. It's a bit freaky. Sending. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we potential follower, maybe. If you've got the stomach to look at him. Yeah, ripping we up. Could drive a man to do something like this. Small girls might even be slightly too evil don't for me. What kind of man does Ooh, a book. That? Is that it? Nords arise. Nah, it doesn't sound like it, does it? Okay, any more books? At some point, we should a dancing fight. Ooh, speechcraft. Oh, well, that's not going to be Take it then. Down here. If she could just spend less time serving Dengir. Ah, I wish I could afford to pay you yeah. both, Nari. I really do. Our youth, today's come and gone. For the 
I know currently there's a bunch of people screaming at the screen saying it's over there. It, it's there. Beth Bethzida. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So from now on, I'm going to be calling that Bethesda. Ask me to deliver him more drow corpses. I have Oh dear, sounds. Not many Asian battle near the tower, and Bleak Falls battle is empty. Found a new battle, someplace called Silent Moon Camp. Hmm. Been ambushed by bandits. Okay. You guys can probably read this a lot faster. I don't know. Maybe skip forward a bit. Beth Zido was happy while taking this research. He had led a few... An expedition. Wondering what a powerful man like him could want. More than what he already have. Has. Has. I'm going to forgive you for that. Last night, Beth Zida instructed me to make my next delivery to some place in the wilderness, away from the tower. He mentioned... He needed to head to some sort of ancient north sanctuary high in the mountains that he would be using Bone Chill Passage to make his way down. I'm to meet him there. Okay, that's Texas. Awesome. We awesome. We have clues. We'll oh, another book. Down yeah. with Ofri, the killer of kings. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the okay. place you're looking for. I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. They are annoying, mate. Well, they're all right, but their leader's so annoying. I imagine they're not all right Some either. Tell you I it wasn't so long ago they picked a fight with me. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkirk. Okay, cuckoo. A few well-placed bribes, and they bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial yeah, Scepter. They might have wanted a new Jarl because you're, Thane. um... They got my how can I say this place. politely? That shit crazy? Cyrodiil, that yeah. One. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards that. are spying on every one of us. Okay. Last night, I saw Lord the Blacksmith writing a letter. Not a letter. Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Probably Are you not, mate. Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that letter. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm going to tell you I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Have Why fun. You say? Crazy person. Crazy, 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 crazy person. Short bones. Handsome man in Falkry. Okay. Nice sleeping. Oof. Let's get up at eight. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Lord. Lord. Great name. So, Bone Hill. Remember this, where was Bone Hill Passage? That wasn't this. Where's where's my book? Where's my book? Where's my book? There we go. High in the mountains. High in the mountains. Mountains, mountains, mountains. Some place in the wilderness. Okay. Let's have a look. It's going to be over here then. Mountains, I guess. Okie dokie. Disrespect the law and you disrespect Yeah, yeah. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Blah, blah, blah. Threats, threats, and more threats. Right. 
Why am I wet? Is it raining? I seem to be raining. Uh, see, it seems to be raining. I seem to be wet. Okay. Um, so we're looking for along the mountains. So I'm going to run up and down. Looking for a... What was it? Passage. Bone shield passage. It's ringing a bell. It really is ringing a bell. Really is. Why does that ring a bell? Bone hill. Bone chill passage. Where am I going? Okay, that's Haldir's Cairn, which is not bone chill. Ooh, I can get Meryn's razor while I'm here. Oh, do you think this is it? Do you think bone chill passage is... Could be. Let's keep going. The Hammerfell borders discovered. Um... Who is it that's aggroing? There's Legion everywhere, and then... Oh, scimitar. Cool. <laughs> scimitar that is rolling on by. It's an search Alakir warrior. That's. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna take that. I like that. That looks nice. Scimitar. Yeah, I've not got one of those. Do you know something? I don't think I've ever been up here. This looks like it could be Bone Chill Passage, doesn't it? It looks like the Legion are killing off whoever it is that's aggroed. So he can safely walk through. I haven't, you know, in all my playthroughs, I've never come this way. You cannot go this way. DLC. DLC. Alright, so that's not Bone Chill Passage. Ah, and again, people are st staring at the scream, screaming, "No, you idiot!" Hmm. So along here, then I guess. Ah, little path there. Just this looks like a passage, doesn't it? It's just for some reason that name rings a bell. Oh, where are my followers? There they are. Three of them. Come on. No idea where this thing is at all. I do see some people fighting. Imperials, maybe? Imperials and Stormcloaks, and who are they? Oh, they're bandits. I know they're bandits. So you know what? Yep, knew you were a bandit. Rage! <laughs> so they're busy fighting each other now. Where are you going? Where are you going? Horsey, horsey, horsey. Come here. Not 
None of our business, this. Are they dead? Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh. One of them isn't. I don't seem to be able to get off my horse. I got off. Thank you. That was odd, wasn't it? Zargo, the ever dying. Flame out an arc up there for you. Have some fun. <laughs> now, what else did I take? I did. I took some um, other spells, I believe. Did I not take some other spells? Yes, Ice Spike, Lightning Bolt, and Fire Bolt. I quite like the idea of those. In fact, I think I'm going to put lightning bolt. Yes, rather than sparks. Let's have a look at that. Oh yes, much better. All right, boys and girls. I'm not seeing anything. I really am not. We're looking for passage. Does that look hopeful? Let's have a look. Could be up there, couldn't it? Mountain. Did I see something? I heard something. Let's get... Let's get a bill. We want a bill. Horse has gone running away. Is this what you want? A lot of things there. Run away! Yes, for fear. Stand up. on him so when he comes back he goes for his fellow and courage I've not been using courage very much apparently that's a very good very good thing to give them apparently they perform better I'll kill you it's kind of weird watching him use both though Awesome work, boys and girls. Awesome work. Braces of the white tree. Huh? Light armor. Was there anything? I need to detect dead, don't I? So I can go loot all their corpses. Nice work indeed, boys and girls. This is definitely... Oh. Mmm. Fur coats and... Cloaks and huds and things. Excellent. Yeah, with the cease, definitely getting a lot more um, spawns. A lot more. And that was actually pretty, pretty tough. 
I've definitely got to rethink my my spells actually. What have I courage, for example? Sounds like a really good idea. Lightning bolt, it's nice to have that on. Yeah. Things like Soul Trap just doesn't seem to be something I cast very often. I think I should just sort of rotate something in there. But this this apparently gives them more health and So does this look hopeful? Are we are we anywhere remotely near this bone chill passage? I don't think we are, are we? It was in the mountains, though they said. So maybe we're getting closer. Hmm. I want to head more this way. Maybe that's it. That could be a passage, couldn't it? Can I head up there? Oh, is this actually... Sort of feels right, doesn't it? Definitely does feel right. And apparently we've just silver necklace. Notes to the authorities. I've had to talk about dragons. Okay. So it's the chest. What have we got in here? Gold. Oh, that sounds bad. Ah, she's fine. Oh, I leveled up. Nice, 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 nice. One of the other spells, uh, uh, mods I'm going to install is um, is perks for dr dragon souls. Seeing as uh, it looks like I'm going to be getting dragon souls from now on. I think I want to start turning those dragon souls into perks because this playthrough is turning out to be somewhat of a um Ooh, what am I gonna put? What am I gonna have? Magicka, I think. It's turning out to be a bit of a perk demanding build, because I'm basically I do like this um <laughs> alternative level up thing. So Hmm. Atronarch's Nectar. See, I'm also going to. I'm going to probably raise some thralls eventually, so that I probably do want those. What else is there, though? There was illusion and alteration. Calm spells now work on high level. Calm's not something I really want that much of, but I do need to go. Oh, quiet casting, I don't want. Hmm. Too many choices. This is the problem. Way too many choices. See? Yeah, alteration. I want alteration as well. <gasps> Smithing. I need one perk for the dwarven. I'm going to keep this perk. I really am. Yes, I am. In case I get my dwarven, my smithing up to get orc. How about up there? Ah, definitely looks good. It's got that dungeon look about it, doesn't it? Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 
Eventually. Finally. Oh. Thought we were never going to find it. God, I think I'm going to cut quite a bit of that out. Probably spent 40 minutes running up and down the mountains looking for this.